Saying hello again today with Michael Banks, who's the general manager of the Auberge Bonaparte in Old Montreal, um, right here on February 18th, 2011, and I'm just getting a, a personal hotel tour. Thanks for showing me around, Michael. I really appreciate it. And you have taken me now to room 301? Yes, uh, we are now presently in room 301. Mm -hmm. And the specialty mm -hmm. of room 301 is we have a queen bed and we mm -hmm. also have a double bed because sometimes we have like uh, two brothers or two sisters who would like to be in the same room or sometimes we have like a couple who has a child mm -hmm. and they like to have a room with two beds. Exactly. So this is something that we uh, have specially done uh, during the uh, renovations of the hotel mm -hmm. so we could accommodate families or uh, let's say uh, two brothers, two sisters or let's say two business people traveling Exactly. Together. Absolutely. Very spacious. Very it's spacious room. It's a very room. spacious Beautiful. room and uh, as you can see that mm -hmm. it's, uh, it, lodges, uh, it lodges a lot of space and people can actually sit you know over by the windows mm -hmm. and something that's nice about here is that all the windows in the hotel open up mm -hmm. so therefore one of the nice things is that uh, you can open up these French dormer windows yeah. and you have a beautiful view of the Notre Dame Basilica yeah, this is just amazing, as isn't well it? as uh, the church what and, a gorgeous view and uh, something which is interesting about this is this is the oldest French garden in North America really? and it's not open up to the public so therefore oh. this is something interesting for our guests that they uh -huh. get to when they stay at the hotel they get to see uh, this uh, beautiful Notre Dame Notre Dame Gardens mm -hmm. that is not open to the public at all. Really? It's amazing. It's just gorgeous. What a beautiful view. I would imagine the cathedral is lit up at night. Yes, the towers are actually lit up with uh -huh. a, a blue color and uh, the bells are ring uh, during the day starting at 10 o'clock right up until uh, 6 o'clock in the evening. Wow, this is gorgeous and thank God it's a nice warm day in Montreal today. Yes. Because otherwise we'd be freezing we here by most, the window. We most certainly Exactly. But it's a nice way to wake up in the morning, and it's a nice day to end of your day mm -hmm. as you hear the bells of Notre Dame ringing. Exactly. Yeah. No, that's wonderful. Now, one thing I wanted to ask you, actually, I mean, this is obviously the most historic area of Montreal and one of the oldest downtown areas in all of North America. What is the history specifically of, of this building? Well, what is unique about this building, this is a Bethelow building, which was built in the early in the 1800s. And what is unique about a lot of the buildings on Montreal mm -hmm. would be uh, very, very narrow, mm -hmm. but deep. Okay. And what is unique about this building on St. François Xavier, it's a very, very wide building. So it takes up a lot of space on the actual street of St. François Xavier, mm -hmm. and it's not so deep. So therefore, it's, it's very, very large in width, yes. which is very, very unusual. So this is sort of the opposite. The other exactly. buildings are narrow and deep, exactly. and this one is not this is deep, one of, This is wide. probably one of the few uh, buildings that was built, and I think the reason why it was built on the mm -hmm. length, and because of the fact that we have the historic gardens of Notre Dame Basilica, Mm -hmm. and the Presbytère, which was there, which was earlier in the 1600s. Okay. Yes. Now, do you know roughly when the building was built? This building was built in 1886. Okay. And it's a Bethel building, and it was notaries back then, because the notaries, uh, they would be signing different legal bills yeah. and uh, uh, doing legal work for the people who were, uh, you know, uh, traders living in old Montreal. And importers. And traders, fur yeah. traders, importers, yeah, exactly. as well as uh, the religious order, because it was a large religious order, because Montreal was discovered by the Grey Nuns. Mm -hmm. And they were the first ones to come from France with oh. uh, Samuel de Champlain. Yeah, so this was a notary's building, actually. Yes, this was a, a notary's law building. office. Yes. Okay. And I'm sure a lot of different legal secrets. Oh, I <laughs> would imagine so. Now that makes perfect sense. Wonderful. I wanted to mention your website once again if people want to check out more about the Auberge Bonaparte. Yes, they can find us on www.bonaparte.com. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. And Michael, please tell me where are we headed next? Uh, we're going to be heading up onto the fifth floor, mm -hmm. and I'm going to be showing you our suite. Okay, great. Thank you so much, Michael. My pleasure.